Our programs include many languages. Please log on to our program schedule for more details. So premastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programmes comprennent des émissions en plusieurs langues. Pour de plus amples informations, consultez suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas incluyen muchos idiomas. Por favor, ingrese al horario de nuestros programas para más detalles. suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Rancangan kami termasuk banyak bahasa. Sila log masuk ke jadual rancangan kami untuk butiran lanjut. suprememastertv.com miring schedule. The wolf will live with the lamb. The leopard will lie down with the goat. The calf and the lion and the yearling together, and a little child will lead them. Prophecy of Isaiah, Holy Bible. Will there be peace for the animals in the predicted kingdom of Christ? To find out, please watch on for the multi-part series on ancient predictions about our planet, Prophecy of the Golden Age, Part 23. A special tribute to Lord Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace. Welcome giving viewers, I'm Zachariah, the King's Seer, hailing from amicable Pescara on the Adriatic Sea. We in Humane Italy thank you for spreading God's love through your caring words and actions. Today we will find out about a vision of Christ's Kingdom of Peace that considers both humans and the animals. Throughout the history of mankind, the divine messages are often shrouded in mystery. Prophets, messiahs, or whichever names you call them, are often persecuted and oppressed, their words obscured. But how do we distinguish the true from the false? To do so, one can only rely on the divine's guidance, and the truth will reveal itself to those who earnestly seek it. Just a few decades ago, it seemed that world peace was impossible. But now, as shown in our previous episode, the Holy Bible's prophecy that Christ will bring peace on earth is truly being fulfilled. One may wonder, how exactly is this being achieved? Of this we are certain, an extraordinary amount of heavenly power has been involved. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Prophecy of Jesus Christ, Holy Bible. 
In recent years, Supreme Master Ching Hai revealed that her soul has ascended to higher and higher heavens. First to the extreme end of our shadow universe, then through the original universe and far, far beyond. In these super heavens, Supreme Master Ching Hai is known by sacred names such as Tim Ko Tu, which means the loved lord of all worlds. Ultimately, she is the only one who is able to summon her elect from one end of heaven to the other. And with their help, she distributes unimaginable quantities of blessings from the higher realms into our planet. Thanks, Ihosku von Ka, Ka, you know, I mean, thanks all the council of Ihosku and all who have for, for eternity love you. And then 94 gazillions of spiritual, of spiritual merit points from my reservoir to be donated to the earth and the world for peace, love and kindness to all beings. Please transfer this amount with God's love. All who are in charge of this issue, thanks a lot and love you forever. Supreme Master Ching Hai is deeply grateful to the beloved God for all the financial help, comfort and support to the afflicted and needy and or any good cause over the years as a humble vessel for His compassion and love toward His precious children. This is on the 14th of April 2014. Truly without grace from Yosku, the earth would have gone. Thanks all councils for love and helping me to do this. In December 2010, at the Greenest Heroes Gala in Cancun, Mexico, Supreme Master Ching Hai revealed how much spiritual merit enlightened masters and other beings share daily to bless the world. For the people who are practicing, for example, like the method that I share, they have more benefit. There is just more connection, so you can get more from the bank of the universe. Quicker, quicker, faster, yes. And the more you have, the more interest you earn. For example, yesterday, if I meditate, I will earn like 300 zillion, for example. Today, I would earn like 600 zillions because of the interest. The more I have, the more I am given. This is the point, yes. I remember uh, Beach Boy El Jetting. After the party in Cancun, he went to my uh, hotel. Uh, he sit in front of the elevator where I'm going to go in my room. He knows it. Sit right there so he won't listen. He said, what? what are you doing here? He said, I want to see you. Something like that. I said, why, why? I, said, uh, I think, I think, uh, you know, I think you are almost like like something like Jesus. I said, what are you talking about? I said, you know, you're talking about the zillions and zillions and zillions of spiritual merit point in the world to have the world in your life. I said, I think your Jesus is really important. And he said, oh, come on. Why do you talk like that? You're not even my disciple. He said, I know. I feel it inside. Fancy, you know, talking to me like that. And you hardly know me. I just feel his intuition, so kind like that. I mean, a stranger don't come and just praise you and worship you like that. He must have been a, also a pure soul. Regardless or not, I'm Jesus reincarnate or not. For him to be able to say that, he must be very pure. True, yes, yes. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. We'll return after a brief message.
Welcome back to our program. Even with all the divine help from the gracious and mighty beings above, Supreme Master Ching Hai reminds us that humans must also make an effort to become more peaceful and not just rely on heaven. Then world peace could even be immediate. Humans should change, try to be victims, and try to be forgiven, and try to be merciful and compassionate instead of vengeance. Because in the Bible, so vengeance belongs to me. That's clear. We should not always make excuse to do violent things or bloodshed. We should make excuse to do good and to help each other. You see, everybody wants world peace and world vacant and all that. If they don't do it, then how do we have world peace? If they don't stop war, how do we have world peace? They don't stop teaching me. How do we have world peace and peace? And then we blame God for not having peace for us. If the patient don't do what the doctor prescribes, don't touch what the doctor prescribes, they cannot blame the doctor for not helping them to regain their health. What must one do to be worthy of a place in Christ's kingdom of peace? We turn again to his words for the answer. When the Son of Man comes in His glory, and all the angels with Him, He will sit on His glorious throne. All the nations will be gathered before Him, and He will separate the people one from another. Then the King will say to those on His right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. Truly, I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Prophecy of Jesus Christ, Holy Bible. Throughout his life, Jesus Christ preached to the poor and did charitable works wherever he went. The seen humane gospel of Christ even states that many were amazed and astonished at his words and works of charity, for wherever Yeshua or Jesus journeyed, and whatever thing he did, all goodness and much beauty resulted. In the present time, Supreme Master Ching Hai continues Christ's work in spreading beauty and love everywhere she stays mostly quietly and anonymously. Her generosity is just, it isn't seen in the world like it is from her. She's just magnanimous in her giving. She exemplifies what we call the concept of the brotherhood of man in the Christian religion. The remarkable thing about Supreme Master Ching Hai is that she reaches out to those who are in need all over the world. When you go in such an area, 
your heart will open with love. And that's the energy that needs to counterbalance the negative things that have happened to them. Okay, you bring positive power, you bring love into the area that they need it most at that time. Okay? Yes. No matter what karma they did, no matter if they deserve a trouble or not, you always bring love and comfort. That's important for you also, not just for them. Yeah? Very good. For our world together, always uh, spread more love, then the world will become better and better place. Hmm? Okay. Energy, good energy, you see? Happy and loving energy is needed. Supreme Master Ching Hai teaches that in order to achieve world peace, we must create good energy by doing good to others, including the animals. The wider we extend our circle of loving kindness, the wider we will be, the wider we will have the shield of protective, positive energy around us. So, a completely peaceful world must be a vegan world where all beings live in peace and not fear one another. will live with the lamb, the leopard will lie down with the goat, and the calf and the lion and the yearling together, and a little child will lead them. Prophecy of Isaiah, Holy Bible. This famous biblical passage, often called the prophecy of the lion and the lamb, describes Christ's future kingdom. Some believe that the little child will be Christ himself, or perhaps herself. And in the seen version of this future vision, we find that the Lord truly had the animals in mind. And it shall come to pass in that day that I will make again and renew a covenant with the beasts of the earth and the fowls of the air and the fishes of the sea and with all created things. And I will surely make all of them my creatures to lie down in safety and in peace and to live without fear or outcry. For neither shall they hunger nor thirst any more, but be fed and cherished prophecy of Jesus Christ, the Essene Humane Gospel of Christ. Before we expect the lion to lay down peacefully with the lamb, we humans must do it first. As long as the humans cannot even lay down peacefully with the lamb, causing all the anguish, fear, sorrow, oppression to weaker beings and defenseless animals, we cannot realize this heavenly dream, as the lion will lie beside the lamb. So, we must return to our compassionate self. We must return to our glorious status as the children of God. When our series continues, we'll find more biblical evidence 
that Christ's kingdom will indeed be based on non-violence for all beings. You may be surprised to discover that Lord Jesus was a vegan advocate and he was as determined to stop all forms of animal cruelty as Supreme Master Ching Hai is today. Show mercy unto these small creatures, and God shall pour out much mercy on thee. If we want to receive the mercy of heaven for our life here on earth, we must first be merciful in granting the same dignity and freedom of life to the animals. that it be thy will accomplished on earth. Grant thy earth all peace and joy, and maketh thy innocent creatures, small and great, to rest free from the strain of the evil one. My heart's desire is only that, for the world to have peace, not just for humans, but for all beings. That's my only heart desire. I even say to heaven, I don't mind if I just stay on the fifth level or fourth level, as long as, or third level, as long as I can continue doing work. If because of helping others, taking the karma, that my spiritual level will be downgraded, I don't mind. I say, I don't mind, as long as I don't take all my power away so I can continue to help others. I don't mind. I don't need to go back to the highest area or nothing. I do have desire. <laughs> you think, Master, uh, desireless, I do have desire. I do have desire, desire to, to help this world at least, to elevate themselves to a more benevolent consciousness, more enlightened, you know, less suffering, more happiness, more loving, more kindness, more compassion toward each other and toward all other beings. And think twice before they want to do something bad to others, and only want to do good to others. That's my heart desire. Truly, that's the only thing I desire. This concludes today's episode of the multi-part series on ancient predictions about our planet, Prophecy of the Golden Age. Be sure to watch the next part of the series about Lord Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace. Coming up next is God Takes Care of Everything, English edition, right after Noteworthy News. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. May heaven bless you manifold selfless viewers for your loving deeds to fellow beings. For more details on prophecies of Jesus Christ, please visit aboutbibleprophecy.com and isseen.com forward slash the Essene Humane Gospel. For more details and to check out our schedule for language availability, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash AP and suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Pour plus d'informations et pour consulter le programme des langues disponibles, visitez suprememastertv.com baroblique AP et suprememastertv.com baroblique schedule. Para más detalles y consultar nuestro horario para la disponibilidad de idiomas, por favor visite suprememastertv.com barra inclinada AP y suprememastertv.com barra inclinada Sketchu. Untuk butiran lanjut dan lihat jadual kami untuk ketersediaan bahasa, sila kunjungi suprememastertv.com miring AP dan suprememastertv.com miring schedule